I'm here with Lloyd Tran of the California Institute of Nanotechnology. Thank you for coming to this conference and welcome. Um, I'd like to know what is the main purpose of the Institute of Nanotechnology? Our institute is uh, to foster research and business collaboration in nanotechnologies and the main application is in clean technologies and uh, you know the environmental friendly products such as clean tech and green tech. Now something about nanotechnology is that um, it gets a bad rap sometimes as maybe being maybe and also sometimes definitely uh, polluting yeah. you know these nanoparticles that get into the atmosphere into the water etc. Yeah. How is nanotechnology leading into green tech? Nanotechnology is a very fundamental uh, platform sciences. You can work both ways. It could be good or it could be bad if you try to misuse it. We believe that nanotechnologies have a tremendous application for the environmental friendly application. Mm -hmm. It works both ways. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of application you can use nanotechnologies to clean up the environment, to make the environment more friendly, clear the sky, better environment and uh, friendly. On the other hand, if we're not careful and we misuse that, it could be called potential real risk involved. So I think nanotechnology is, is a fundamental science and particularly nano can use for uh, solar technologies, develop a better, a thinner, more efficient cost involved and cost effective for the solar energy, for example. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sure in the uh, conference you see quite a number of emerging companies such as uh, Nano Solar, Nano XR and a few others. So excellent. They apply the advance of nanotechnologies for the better use of uh, solar energies mm -hmm. and make it become more product and user friendly for the society. Now UC Davis is a, is a or the Davis community is mm -hmm. full of students. Um, part of your nonprofit, the California Institute of Nanote Nanotechnology, um, your purpose is also educational. So is there anything that uh, the community here can, that they should know about services and, and classes, educational opportunities that your institute provides? Thank you, ask a question. In fact, uh, our institute is uh, funded by the Federal Department of uh, Labor. Mm -hmm. Also, we also have the grant from the Community College of California to provide training and education and outreach to the students like UC Davis here and all the universities to create awareness that the students should focus on the application of sciences, what they learn, and for the better for the environment and for society. So we like to be part of that. If they're interested, they can uh, look it up to our website in uh, cinano.com. California Institute of Nanotechnologies. There's some uh, training program provide uh, uh, certificate in nanotechnologies and clean technologies as well. Great. So there's a certificate program that yes. students, that people interested in the nanotechnologies, can actually be certified and then be able to get out and yes. into the job market. That's right. And be able to sh have something to show. Yes. Uh, recently, we uh, received uh, 1.5 million dollars funding from uh, the Department of Labor and Naples to develop a curriculum and uh, training to help the students to further advance their career and hopefully with the certificate training they can get a better opportunity to get a job in the nano and clean technologies. Great. Is there anything else that you'd like to add about the conference or about your own institute for the people who I might, might be watching? Yeah, this conference is excellent. It focuses on the needs and you know and uh, get together uh, a very excellent group of uh, CEOs and mm -hmm. scientists and uh, professor people working in nano clean tech mm -hmm. and uh, our institute are looking forward to work with a group like um, always on and all the organization uh, to make a society aware of the uh, emerging technologies but also make the environment more friendly for all of us, particularly the next generation that yeah. they inherit the most. Yeah. Okay. Particularly the next, the next generation. Yes, we have to do the best for them. You know? yeah. okay. Well, thank you very much for your time and I wish you all the luck and thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate the opportunity.